is the <clears throat> concrete pad that I poured for a portable generator to build an enclosure on. And I did this maybe two or three years ago before I started making videos. And of course there are all kinds of other projects that go on and I never got around to finishing it. But we really need to have the generator out here on standby because during the winter time here in Maine we do lose power quite often. And when it's below zero you really want to be able to run your heater. And it's about 36 inches in this direction, about 37 inches in this direction, and that will enclose my generator. And uh, it's a Generac 7500 watt generator. And uh, interesting thing is they say that uh, don't have this outside when you're using it. Don't leave it out in the rain or in foul weather, but that's exactly when you need a generator in foul weather. So this enclosure will keep any rain or weather off it. And it'll be right where it needs to be when we need to start it up. So uh, that's what this video is about. I'm going to start building it and I'll have free plans available if you're interested. You might want to build an enclosure for your generator. These sill plates here are pressure treated. Uh, I'm using 2x3's for the stud, wa for the, uh, stud walls. And so these were 2x4's and I ripped them down the same width as a 2x3 which is about 2.5 inches wide. And I had a ram set gun so I used those ram set nails to anchor the sill plates into the concrete. And as I said this happened a while ago I didn't uh, do a video but if you watch my video on building the duck coop uh, the first couple of segments will show you pouring a concrete pad if you want to know how to do that and uh, using the ram set for putting on the sill plates there's another video I think it's the next one that shows me doing that so it's the same thing just uh, different dimensions and I'll include the links in the uh, description of the video below so this is where I'm going to start looks like I have a little bit of work I gotta whack down all these weeds and cut things down and clean it up before I go any further <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.